Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sophia Hashmi. I'm your math teacher for the Cambridge ITC level. Today we are going to discuss about the functions and their basics. So it's a revision topic for your um, chapter 15. So let's get started. Okay, here uh, the function have some representation. Okay, so we can represent function as y equal to f of x. Okay, so here x is called input and y is called output. So x and y are basically variable. So what comes inside the bracket is called input for your function and the y is called output. Okay, so there is another representation for the function is f semicolon x arrows for y. This definition allows you to uh, define for the sets. Okay, so here is a relationship, binary relationship for the sets. Uh, here x is the set and y is set. Okay, again, if simply we can say or define the function, function is called like a machine. So whatever comes inside this machine, it transforms and changes into output. Okay, so we input something in this machine. So this input is called domain. So this input is called domain in mathematical form. We can say this input as domain. And after processing this machine, which is function, it's called range. Okay, now let's come up with the example or the question so you can get the clear idea. Okay, here, here we have question number one. We have function 3x minus 1. Now what you have to find you have to change the input or you have to change the domain. So just simply you have to replace x in this function. Write function, rewrite it again. f of x equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, now we have to find f of 7. Okay. So just imagine x equal to 7. Okay. x equal to 7. Now you have to replace in this expression wherever x is okay so here x is so we i am going to replace x by 7 okay minus 1 now calculate it 3 times 7 is 21 21 minus 1 will give you a 20 so now f of 7 when we change the domain output also changes okay so it changes output so we can say that output is dependent on input Whenever you change the input, it automatically changes the output. Now, if we are going to replace the input or the domain with some variable. Here I have a question f of x plus 3. So we have domain over here x plus 3. Not, not any constant number like previously we have x equal to 7. So we have over here the variable. So what we are going to do, just replace x, just replace x with this factor x plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to write over here f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. So now I'm going to write 3. Instead of x, I'm going to write x plus 3 and minus 1 as it is because it's constant. Okay, now you have to simplify this expression. 3 times x plus, okay, you have to multiply for each term. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1, so it will be. 3x plus 8. Now f of x plus 3. Again, output changes due to input. Okay. So it, it always happens when whenever you change the domain, it will affect your ranges. Okay. Now one more example. If a function have uh, this expression and you have to find the constant. Okay. So there is, a, uh, there is a condition given in your question g of p is equal to 11. Now you have to find the possible values for the p. Okay. So I am going to rewrite this expression. g of x is equal to 3x square minus 1. And we have condition over here g of p equal to 11. Okay. So what you are going to do, you have to just replace x with p. We have g of x equal to 3x square minus 1, right? Instead of x, now I'm going to replace x with p because we are going to use this condition. Okay, so g of p equal to 3 times p square minus 1. Okay, 
Now we have condition which is g of p equal to 11. Now I am going to use this value over here. g of p is 11. So I am going to write instead of g of p, I am going to write 11 over here. So 3p square minus 1 equal to 11. Now it's quadratic equation. Okay. So you can see like. 3p square, add 1 on both sides, you will get 3p square equal to 12. Now you have to find the value of p. Divide 3 on both sides. So you will get p square equal to 4. Now whenever you take square root of that value, you will get two values. Okay, it's one, one is positive and one is negative. So we have values for p, either 2 or either minus 2, okay, which it satisfies this condition, g of p is equal to 11 and g of x equal to 3x square minus 1. Now, hope you understand this topic for composite and inverse function, both the next videos.